Welcome everyone! In this video we will talk about surface materials, which we can found under options, element attributes, surfaces, or we just click on the small brush on our attributes toolbar. Before we start, I could make a whole video series about the single channels of the render engines or how to set up a specific material, and maybe I will do someday, but in this video we will keep it very simple and very easy. I will show you two examples of materials, but we won't go too deep into the channels of surface materials in Archicad. So let's go. As always, we have a list of all materials if we click here. We will create new materials later, so let's jump to the render engines. In this version, we can choose between the basic engine, OpenGL and CineRender. In the German version, which I usually use, there is a sketch engine as well, while OpenGL and Basic Engine share the same settings, so it's basically the same. The main focus lies on the CineRender engine, because the CineRender engine is the engine you should use to render. But I will show you something first. I just changed the texture of this material in the render settings. So I build a wall and change the material of the wall to brick red. And as you can see in the 3D window everything looks fine. But if we hit render you will see that the red bricks aren't there. What I want to say is that if you change or add a material to the library, you always have to change the texture for the CineRender engine and the basic engine. So you will see the same texture in the standard 3D view as if you have rendered the scene. So now let's create a new material. We start with something simple, a new paint. It's helpful if you copy similar existing materials when you want to create something new. So we duplicate any of the existing paints here and give it a new name. Paint Creative Green in this case. So I first added the color in the basic engine settings. Just double click on the color and change the RGB code here to 210, 210, 90. In the basic engine options, only color or main texture is of importance. We will spend more time in the CineRender settings. But you can also change transparency if you want to add glass, or you can change reflection and glowing, but that's it basically. On the bottom you can add different textures, which we will do on the next material. The vectorial hatching decides which fill you will see in sections, elevations and 3D documents if you look at a surface with this material. If you keep background as hatch, we will see the right color in the elevations and a white surface in sections. Now we added everything in the basic engine, so we can move on in Cinerender. First we will change the color. It works quite the same way here. Just click on color and change RGB. Because we have duplicated an existing paint, we do not have to change anything here now. But be aware of the different channels of the render engine here on the left side. Click on OK to finish and just take a look at the new material in the library. But what about texture based materials? Some time ago I bought some Arrowway texture packs, which I can definitely recommend. They're brilliant, so let's work with one of them. First we have to add all of our different texture maps to the library, in this case just two. So we open File, Library and Object, Library Manager, and we choose the embedded library and then we just simply drag and drop our image files into there. You can create a new folder before, just in case you like to have a better overview. Click 
click on OK and then the new textures are in our project. We go back into the material editor and duplicate something with stones because I added a texture from the Arrowway stone tile package. We start changing the main texture in the basic engine. So click here on search, select the embedded library and there you find the new textures. The standard texture or standard map is the D100 in this case. I will show you the sense of the other map now. But before that we have to edit the size of the texture. Luckily Arrowway always comes with a PDF where you can look up the original size and some other stuff. So it's 8.6 at 5.2 meters in this case. We're basically done here, but I will change the color that appears next to the material name when we open up the list of materials as well. The color does not have any effect on the texture in this case. It's just for the little preview window. And we can keep the hatch here because it comes very close to the texture. Now we jump over to Cinerend. We start with changing the main texture. So go to color, choose image instead of layer under the point texture and select the D100 image from the embedded library. After we have done that, the next step is to change the size. Just like we did in the basic engine menu, you find the size on the top of the list to your left. And here you can type in the original size 8.6 8 at 4.2 meters. Now you can see that the preview image at the upper left corner already looks quite decent. But we're not finished yet. We keep the subtle reflectance here, but we can deactivate the normal channel. We don't use a normal map here, but we're using a bump map. So go to bump, select image under the point texture and select the B30 file from the embedded library. The bump map is just a flat 2D map, which tries to fake depth to the, te to the texture, but we can actually add real depth to the texture. To do that, go to displacement, check the box and choose the same map as texture here, the bump map. Now you can clearly see that the material has some real furrows. You can add more depth here if you like. So we're basically done with this texture. It's just an example. There are tons of other ways to add this texture and of course other textures. If you're satisfied, click on OK to save the new material and let's check the result by rendering it. So that's it. Please let me know which kind of textures you want to see that we can discuss and edit in detail. So maybe I can start a new video series in the future. Leave a like and a comment if this video is helpful and as always have a great day and stay creative.